Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Come at you with a nice one here. The brand new 2022 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer 6-box half case picker team 2. This isn't Road to the World Cup. This is just Prism World Cup. So it's only the teams that are currently uh, the 32 teams in the World Cup. Big thanks to this group for getting in on it. Now thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. We also pulled teams for the filler right there. So if you have a rooftop next game, that means you won those spots in the filler. Now we split up the 11 team combo that we were selling as a pick your team. We split those up. Those are all one in the filler as well. So there you go, gang. Thank you. And it's a six box break. It's the second half of the break that Jason did pick your team one earlier today. So let's see what we got. Good luck. So looks like we're looking at one autograph per box on average. Looking for national landmarks, manga, color wheel, and more. Those are ultra rare, apparently. That's what we're looking for. The World Cup, boys and girls, is almost upon us. Today's the ninth. I think we're, what, 11 days away from the World Cup? The first match is which is usually the home the home country, the host country will get the first the first match on their own. It's gonna be Qatar Ecuador at 8 a.m. LA time, 11 a.m. East Coast time on a Sunday. Not the most enticing matchup, but I suppose I'll try to get up a little early and half watch that game. Maybe it's still a little sleepy eyed around then. And then three matches on Monday. Monday the 21st, which is the Thanksgiving week. And that will be uh, England, Iran, the 5 a.m. game, LA time, West Coast time, Senegal, Netherlands. That's who Keishan's rooting for here. He's got Netherlands in this break. Senegal, Netherlands, 8 a.m. West Coast time. And then, uh, and then USA, Wales. That should be a good match. 11 a.m. West Coast time. All right. Good luck, everyone. All card ship. With Luis Suarez, red to 399. And, ooh, that's nice. A nice Gabriel Martinelli rookie card for Brazil. Grant. Maybe we can find some, some color here. Luis Suarez for Uruguay. That's going to go to Kevin. And rookie silver for Australia, Martin Boyle. Obviously, these rookie cards, especially the silvers, all worth holding on to. I don't know how much playing time he's going to get as a rookie in the World Cup, but, but I mean, he could. And there's Gary Neville, International Inc., old school. Englander here, old school, three lines. David B. with the three lines. It's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming. And we got a blue Cristiano Ronaldo, 24 out of 299. Might be, might be the last one for him. That goes to Jordan and Portugal. Yeah, all these rookies worth looking up. Bono from YouTube. There's Luke, uh, Lucas Martinez Cuarta, the rookie pink parallel. But if they if they're not really too active on their national teams this season, just hold on to it. In four in four years, the World Cup will be here in North America. These country cards are pretty cool, and. Um, you know, in four years, those rookies might be, might, could be household names. Like this guy, Ricardo Pepe for the United States. That's going to go to Eric. Did not make the U.S. men's national team, which was a little bit of a surprise, but he's only 19, I think, right? So, 
So he should be primed and ready to go by the time uh, the World Cup's around here. There's Anthony Contreras, 146 to 299. Rookie Silver, that's Yuta Nakayama for Japan. It's going to be for Dayton. We got Red Mojo, Julian Alvarez, one out of 99 for Argentina. That's for Dayton. We got a Joachim Anderson. That is for uh, Denmark, right? Yeah. S-E-N, Danes, just like, uh, just like Jasperson. And Kasper Schmeichel. We've got uh, Hannibal Mejbri, Rookie Hyper. Uh, that is for, yeah, he's in Manchester United now. Tunisia. That's going to go to Jordan. All right, nice. It's fun. Box one in the books. Box two. We got another picker team coming up a little bit later tonight. And that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be from a fresh case. What else? Any other World Cup news happening here? I guess Benzema and Mbappe headlining the French World Cup squad. We kind of knew that. The uh, devastated Reese James not going to be in the in the England World Cup squad. Yeah, there 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 was a. Uh, Injury issue there for him. Yeah, the U.S. men's national team announced uh, that's the U.S. coach, Greg Berhalter, announced a 26-player roster amid much fanfare in New York City. The roster is headlined by players who become familiar names to U.S. fans, including Chelsea attacker Christian Pulisic, Juventus midfielder Weston McKinney, Borussia Dortmund midfielder Giovanni Reina. Gio, Gio Reina could be a big name in the hobby after this World Cup round and Leeds United midfielder Tyler Adams. Uh, I guess a big shock was the exclusion of Middlesbrough goalkeeper Zach Steffen. Interesting. Ooh, the, the World Cup was in Toronto. Making its way to Cutter, the Jules Remay. We've got a pretty good squad here in the United States. A young squad, but which I think will will be really dangerous in four years. But there's a chance we can make a little noise. All right, good luck everybody. Box two. There's Giovanni Reina. Hyper, but this is not his rookie card, but 
There you go, Eric. Nice one there, since we we're just talking about him. All card ship, of course. We got a blue parallel for Cameroon, 178 to 299. There's Eric Maxime Chupo Moting. And that will be for Sean Maddock and Senegal. Or Cam Cameroon, my bad. Matt Arnold. And a rookie silver, Noah Lang, for the orange. Kayshawn with that one. We got purple, Hugo Loris. 137 out of 199 for Le Bleu. It's for Sean and France. That's a really clean looking set. Soccer players in, that, in this prism design, I dig this. We got Andreas Skov Olsen for Denmark, rookie silver for Greg. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. There's the Harry Kane England card. Are these, how common are these? Are these one per case? The ultra rare national landmarks card pairs top players with iconic plays in their, in their country. Nice, that's ultra rare. And that's gonna be for David B. There you go, very nice. Nice, there's the egg looking thing. There, I don't know if there's phone booths still around there. The double decker still there. Big Ben still there. The big Ferris wheel still there. These are mostly London landmarks, but I guess that's where the national team plays. Very nice. What are the three lines? It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. Football's coming home. 64 out of 99, Jonathan David for Canada. And Bukayo Sa. Oh, I thought it was autograph. Is it short printed? I'll sleeve it up just in case it's something. Another uh, Martinelli for Grant and Brazil. Silver, that's a silver insert. And we have an autograph, International Inc., Roberto uh, uh, Perea for Dayton and Argentina. We got Virgil van Dyke, 40 out of 399. The, uh, the Liverpool center back going to Kayshawn and the Netherlands. And we got Mohamed Darame for uh, for Denmark. All right, next box. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if we polish off that Jersey Fest promo tonight, or even tomorrow, Nick Jaspi said that uh, we can do it. We can do them all tonight. Nick Jaspi said that he'll post a, a some sort of World Cup promo. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't have too many more details after that, but it sounds exciting. So let's help wrap up Jersey Fest. We're down to our last handful of breaks anyway, and then we'll. 
We'll unleash our, our World Cup promo. Yeah, I've the color wheel looks really cool too. I mean, essentially those uh, essentially those um, national landmark cards are basically like downtown cards, which people really like. All right, next box. First of all, I got Mateo Kovacic to 199 for Croatia. That'll be for Sean Maddock and Marco Roy Scorers Club Silver for Germany. Darwin Nunez, who's on uh, who's on Liverpool now, his first season with Liverpool. And the autograph, I think? Yes, the autograph, International Inc., is uh, Takumi Minamino, another uh, Liverpool player. That's for Dayton in Japan. And we got Jose Maria Jimenez, 102 out of 399 for Uruguay. That's going to be for Kevin. And there's uh, Abdullah Al Malki for Saudi Arabia. It's going to go to Daniel. Antoine Griezmann. There's Christian Eriksen. To 399. He's back playing soccer. Remember that scary heart thing that he had in the Euros? He's back playing some footy. There's Alexis Vega for L3, Mexico. That's going to go to Sean Maddock, rookie silver. And we got some blue. For Brazil, 195 out of 299, that's Bruno Guimaraes. It's another uh, parallel for Grant and Brazil. There's Alexander Jiku for Ghana, rookie silver. It'll be for Dayton. All right, next box. All right, halfway through this half case break. Good luck, everybody. Who does everyone have uh, for the World Cup? Let's see what the latest odds are. According to VegasInsider.com, using Bet365, World Cup winner odds. Brazil, plus 400. Argentina, plus 550. France is 6-1, to one, plus 600. England, plus 800. Spain, plus 850. Germany, plus 1,000. Netherlands, plus 1,200. Portugal, 14-1, plus 1,400. Belgium, 16-1. to one. Denmark, 28-1. to one. Croatia, plus... Um, Plus 5,000, 50 to 1. Senegal, 80 to 1. Serbia, 80 to 1. Switzerland, 100 to 1. 
Mexico and the U.S. and Poland are both are all three are 150 to one. Like those, it's just too long of odds right there right at that point. Poland, Ecuador, Canada, Wales, Morocco, Cameroon, Japan, South Korea, Ghana, Qatar, Australia, Tunisia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and Costa Rica round out the uh, World Cup winner odds. Now the favorites are a favorite for a reason, right? Brazil, Argentina, France. Where do you, where do, where do we start seeing some value? Do we start seeing value at like ten to one and up? Maybe England at eight to one is not too bad. Spain at plus eight fifty is not too bad either. Stack's a little bit little slippery there. All right. I don't know. Anyone have any thoughts on World Cup winners? Oh, there's the auto. And it's going to be for Portugal. Tiago, International Inc. That's a nice one for Jordan Ashton. There you go, Jordan. Got randomized Portugal in that team random we did. And ends up with some International Inc. I dig it. There's Jae Lee, 140 out of 199. I usually go the other way. Lee Jae Sung. That'll be for Korea. That'll be for uh, Lee Jong Un. Lee Jong Un. There's Sadio Mane for Senegal. Pink parallels are not number, but that's going to go to Sean Maddock and Senegal. Which Liverpool are to keep him? I don't think I don't think he would he would turn around all of Liverpool's problems this season, but he would definitely be helping a lot. Felix Torres, Ecuador, cracked ice. It's going to go to Dayton. There's Robert Lewandowski. Mohamed Kano for Saudi Arabia. Hyper parallel for Daniel. And Kevin De Bruyne, 36 out of 99. The team that scores more goals will win the World Cup. Yes, that's true. At the end of the day, the team that scores the most goals in a match will be the World Cup winner. There's Gilo, our soccer expert. He's like the John Madden of the, uh, of the soccer world. There's uh, Martin Boyle, 175 out of 399. Saudi Omane Silver. Uh, we got Joachim Mele. Rookie Hyper Parallel for the Danes. It's going to go to Greg. There's Renato Sanchez, 299. And that is for Jordan. Yeah, Chris, who do you think is going to win the world? Oh, the fans are going to. I see. I see. That's a very, that's a very diplomatic answer there. It's as if you, it's as if you work for FIFA. Gilo saying, yeah, what's this cup business? America doesn't want cups. We want bowls. Ah, David B. saying, there's always an early upset. Joe, who do you think will be upset? My upset is Belgium not making it to the round of 16. 
Uh, Belgium, I'm looking at the groups right now. Belgium is in the group with... With, uh, and they're the heavy favorites, too, in that group F. Belgium, Croatia, Morocco, Canada. So what do you think gets out of that group, David, if Belgium doesn't get it? Out of Croatia, Morocco, Canada. Croatia and Canada, maybe? I feel like Canada's a little underrated. They looked good in uh, in CONCACAF qualifying throughout the last what year and a half, but they are the uh, they are the worst, or they have the worst odds, the longest odds in that group. Group F odds to win Group F odds. Belgium is minus one eighty eight. That means you got to lay one hundred and eighty eight dollars if you want to get a hundred win a hundred bucks. Croatia's plus two, 250, meaning if you put down 100 bucks, you get 250 back. Those are plus odds, right? It's almost two and a half to one. Morocco's 10 to one and Canada's 12 to one. Morocco has better odds than Canada to win the group? Doesn't sound right. These odds are according to VegasInsider.com. I think the odds provided by Bet365. Sadio Mane Silver. You're right, though. There's uh, Arthur Tiate for Belgium. This, this does happen. You're right. If you look back on World Cups historically, you know, I've, there's there's been teams that have bounced early that you never... It's, it doesn't always go chalk. I think once you get to, like... You know, the knockout stages, you know, maybe even, you know, like, yeah, once you get to knockout stages, I feel like, uh, I feel like then it, you can get a little chalky, right? But the group stages, that's, that's where the most variance happens. And that's why it'll be interesting when the field is expanded. What do you think about that, David? When the field is expanded to like a ton of teams in the North America World Cup, 281 at 399. Suchi Gonda for Japan. See, Lakers down, <laughs> losing the third quarter again. Clippers beat the Lakers 33 to 23 in the third quarter, outscoring them by 10 points. See that? That's where that's where the Lakers, for whatever reason, they're flat out of the out of halftime. All right, here's for Cameroon, Martin Ongla. That's for Cameroon. That'll be for Matt Arnold. We got a rookie silver. That is Denzel Dumfries for the orange, Keishan. We got Irman Luza for Morocco, rookie hyper parallel. And the autograph is for France? No, but it's a national pride. I thought it was going to be an auto. It's a national pride insert. That does look pretty sharp, though. Are these shorter printed? What does cardboardconnection.com say? Yeah, other short prints to chase include color wheel, manga, mascot, and national pride. So for Le Bleu, that's Christopher uh, Kunku. In Kunku. That'll be for Sean Maddock in France. Le Bleu. There's Ruben Diaz to two ninety nine for Portugal. What are the What's the Cutter World Cup mascot? Huh. All right, that makes sense. I 
That's the mascot. It kind of looks like... Here, I'll, uh, once I'm finished with this stack, I'll, I'll flash the picture up on the screen. And the auto is Reese James. That injury holding him back from being in the World Cup. That's for the three Lions. That's for David B. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. Football's coming home. Here's a silver national team card. I want to say, if I remember from four years back, I want to say like the silver or even lower number parallels of those team cards will actually do all right on the secondary market, especially for the for the bigger name teams, obviously. Francisco Calvo for Costa Rica. And there's Alistair Johnston for Canada. Greg with that one. So this is the mascot. Kind of looks like Casper, right? has a friend that pulled a manga Julian Alvarez tonight. Nice. I like David B's question about like the 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 team that's gonna be the the I don't know what's the team that'll shock you that some some upset. I can see Group A, Netherlands, Senegal, Ecuador, Qatar. I could see like Senegal, maybe even Netherlands getting upset. There's always some, and I don't know if how well that's gonna, how well that's gonna match up in such a small country like Qatar, but in, in previous years, the host country tends to get out of the group. So like, yeah, Senegal's not a bit, maybe like Netherlands doesn't get out, Senegal and Qatar, or maybe Netherlands, Qatar, or something like that. That could be interesting. England, USA, Wales, Iran. I mean, knowing how cynical England fans can get sometimes, I could, I could see maybe England exiting early. And just putting the entire nation on on alert on suicide watch. Well, Argentina, Poland, Mexico, Saudi Arabia. Argentina has to move on, right? There's Neymar for Brazil, 183 to 199. That's got to be a pretty chalky group. Argentina, Poland. I mean, maybe Mexico can pip. Poland, maybe they'll maybe they'll be second in the group. Nick Gilo saying USA is going to shock the world. We got France, Denmark, Australia, Tunisia. These are in order of favorite to least favorite, betting wise, odds wise. That is, I mean France, France, Denmark. Does I don't I can't really see Australia, Tunisia slipping in there. Uh, Spain, Germany, Japan, Costa Rica. That's another one where it's going to be Spain, Germany. I don't really see an update, th upset there. Japan, Costa Rica. So maybe Japan, I guess. There's Suchi Gonda, speaking of Japan. Be for Dayton. Iran, maybe a sleeper team? Could be. 105 out of 399. That's Sebastian Zemanski. There's Bono. 
Where the streets have no name, where the streets have no name, still building, burning down. There's Alexis Vega for L3. That's for Sean Maddock. And the autograph looks orange. It is. It's for the Netherlands. That's uh, Dennis Bergkamp. It's a classic. International Inc. 4K Sean and the Orange. Netherlands. And for Argentina, there's Leandro Paredes. 180 out of 299. What's the next group? Uh, Belgium, Croatia, Morocco, Canada. Oh yeah, that's the group we talked about already. Yeah, that, that could be... That could be interesting. Could see Belgium getting upset, Canada moving on. Brazil, Switzerland, Serbia, Cameroon. Brazil's got to get out of that group. I can't see them being upset. I, I guess an upset would be if they finished second in that group. Who could finish first in that group? Switzerland, maybe? That's always a tough little team. They're always better than you think. There's another Martinelli. There's Nikola Milinkovic for Serbia. That's going to be for Robert. Hoping, hoping we get some parallels for that Martin, Martinelli. That'd be nice. And then the final group, Portugal, Uruguay, Korea, Ghana. I mean, Portugal has to top that group. All right, guys like him. But... Is second spoken for? Uruguay? Is that spoken for? Korea is plus a thousand to win the group, but guys like, I'm not sure if Hyun Min Son is going to be healthy for that World Cup, but if he is, I mean, he's the focal point of that offense. He can just, if he just goes nuts and starts firing off some goals, then he might, he might be able to get them second into the group. That's for Canada. More for the Netherlands, 120 to 299, Matthias de Ligt. It's for Keishan and the Orange. Like in the Bergkamp. Last spot mode, Lionel Messi Silver. There you go. I saw a couple base versions of that. And some base versions of Cristiano Ronaldo, but it's really these silver versions that, that are uh, a little less common. So this is going to go to Dayton in Argentina. I mean, do the Argentinians do it? Lionel Messi would love to add... World Cup to his resume before he hangs him up. And there you have it. Do, do I have anything to randomize here? And this is not a promo break. Yeah, no, that's just start to finish. Nice, clean break. That was Pick Your Team 2. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you a little bit later tonight for another Pick Your Team. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Bye-bye.